So now, so now let's just check in what we started with. We now have a way to find the final velocity. We have the masses. Only one more piece left, the eye. All right, so we're going to look at a different picture for this. We're going to use two-dimensional kinematics considerations. We're going to fire the projectile right off of the table on the floor. So from the bottom of the ball to the floor, we'll call that Y. And then from that point to where it lands on the floor, that's capital X. Okay, so let's see here. So using our kinematics equation, y equals viy, the initial velocity in the y direction. The velocity initially is all in the x direction, which we just called vi. That's the vi we want. So this, zero. And then plus two, one half gt squared, give us an expression for tt equals the square root of 2y over g. Great. Great, great, great. Ah, so now up here we look at the x component. The x equals the vi, that vi we want. T substitution. The x now equals vi, the t, the square root of 2y over g. Algebra to what we want. Ah, vi equals x square root of g over 2y. So now all we have to find is capital X and y and we're in business to find the VI. Okay. Okay. So now, let's find the Y's first. Let's find the Y's first. So, get our ball. Put the ball back for on the end. So we want to find the distance between the bottom of the ball and the floor. So we need some help from a plummet or a plumb bob. This will be useful to us. So I will suspend it from where the ball is and then directly down to the ground to give me a reference point down there. Ah, oh, excellent. Excellent. So now, so now, with a piece of tape, I put the tape right underneath where that mark is and I put an X. I mark an X right where that is. Excellent. Excellent. That's the reference point we need. And then, with a two-meter stick and a ruler, I can now find values for y. Take the ruler, put it underneath the ball to give me a nice edge to match the, the meter stick with, two-meter stick. And it helps to have a second person for this part. Uh, okay, so then I measure here. Great. One value for y. And then I do it again. Do it again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Great. Two values for y. I do it again. I do it five times. The average of that is y. Excellent. All that leaves now is big X. Okay. So for big X, notice down yonder we put a stool there. We put a stool there so the balls don't go crazy all over the room. And the pendulum is in the upright position, giving us a clear trajectory to fire on the ground. So I do a sample shot to see where it lands. So I can then put paper around where it lands. So let me, let me take a good look at this. So, got it. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. I know where that landed. Uh, around here. Yes. This one will count. This one will count. Okay, so now. Ah. Okay, now let's take a good look. Let's take a good look. Look, it left a dent on the paper. A dent right there. So that dent is where the ball hit. So the distance from this dent to that reference point I made on the ground is one value for x. We want 10 values. So we go back. We fire away. Good. 
That's another one. We do it again. Good, that's another one. And we do this 10 times to get 10 dents. And now let's see how we do with this. After we have our 10 dents, we need two. Two. Two meter long sticks. One stick at the reference point. And the other stick here. Right, as soon as I'm content with my alignment, as soon as I'm content, I take it down. Okay, so now come over here. Come over here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give me a reference line to help me find all those 10 marks. So I'm going to pick some sort of line that's before the dents. Uh, uh, I, I like this one. I like this one. So this line is 280.95. Now, even though you might read 80.95 here, remember that's 280 because I already have one two meter long stick. Okay, great. Great. So now, so now I'm going to lift this end up and I'm just going to tear this off and leave. I'm going to leave this on the ground in case I need to do remeasurements. And then up here, up here. Okay, so now I find the distance the distance from the line I made to the center of each dent. Uh, so this is uh, uh, so this is 7.52, 7.52 centimeters. Great. So that's my first value for x. 7.52 plus 280.95. That's my first value for x. And then I go to another dent. Go to the center of the dent to get my second value for x. Let's see here. So that's 9.78. 9.78 centimeters. So my second value for x, 9.78 plus 280.95. That's my second value for x. I do this 10 times. It'll look something like this. It'll look something like this to get my 10 values. And guess what? You average those to find your big X. And then with your big X, your Y, you can find the initial velocity. And then check if momentum's conserved. I need a toothpick. Good job, partner. <laughs>